Hi, my friends. I'm so glad that you're here today, and I hope you're all doing well. I am, and I'm another year older today. So welcome 56. And I'll tell you something, I don't feel any different. So age really is just a number, nothing to think about. If you're new here, thanks so much for giving me a chance. I really appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button below and the bell, and they'll notify you when I post a new video. And if you've already been here, thanks so much for your support. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. When I started this, I had aspirations to get 100 subscribers by today, and I have over 2,000, and my gratitude is just overwhelming. I really don't even know what to say except thank you for your support and your continued support. Um, please feel free to leave comments, ideas, questions, anything you want. Okay, so today's video, I am going to give full credit to Ray Moon, and it's spelled R-E-A Moon, A-S-M-R. Um, she's a recent discovery of mine. I adore her videos. She does a lot with crystals and it kind of um, made me want to try a crystal so i ordered some gemini crystals um, for my birthday they arrived yesterday and i've been waiting to open the box and i thought i would do the opening a lot of tapping maybe some scratching and um, we'll read together softly what it says about everything okay so i need my glasses for this so this is the box it came in. It's from Gazer, Gazer, and it's for Gemini. Now, my very good friend, Susan, always referred to it as Gemini, not Gemini. So I'm not sure which is the correct spelling, but, oh, hello, Bella. <laughs> so I love the box. The photo, can you get your head out of the way, please? Uh, the photo is really pretty, the embossed with the Gemini and all of the zodiac signs around it. And it opens here, it has a magnetic, and inside it says Gemini, May 21st to June 21st. Quick wit and fun of spirit. The Gemini is the entertainer of the Zodiac. Highly intuitive, Gemini has remarkable powers of perception and the ability to shape shift seamlessly. Ruled by Mercury, planet of communication, the Gemini has a unique way with words, often lost in thought, but out of touch with emotion. Though to some they may seem mysterious, the Gemini can choose whether they present as the star or the wallflower. Don't mistake the twin symbol to mean Gemini is two-faced. More often, Gemini is multifaceted, a testament to the vastness of their character and the depth of their mind. I absolutely love the gold on black. Those were actually my wedding colors, um, ebony and gold. And there's a shop in Toronto, Ontario, called Curiosa. It has a lot of Harry Potter things, but it also has a lot of Zodiac, a lot of just really neat, interesting things, and they ship, so please look at their website. But they have, when you go in, the ceiling is black with gold um, designs all over it. It's stunning. I go just to look up, up at the ceiling. It's so beautiful. Okay, so it comes with some cards that we'll read together. And this protects these stones. Oh, here we are. They're much bigger than I thought they were going to be. I assumed they'd be quite small. Okay, so. Okay, so this card just says what we just read. And this tells me what the stones are. So we're gonna go through that after we read these. How to care for your crystals. Caring for your crystals properly is of the utmost importance. A 
Upon use, the crystals are exposed to a variety of energies. By cleansing your crystals once a month, you ensure they are not harboring any negative energies. So water, run your crystals underwater for one minute. A natural stream of water is best, but sink water will work too. Natural light, set your stone in a safe spot outside of night at nightfall. This allows the crystals to bathe in the light of the powerful healing sun and moon. Return your crystal in the morning. Breathing. Hold the crystal in your dominant hand and focus your intentions. Deeply inhale and exhale through your nostrils. Gently bring the stone to your face, breathing in and out. I have not cleaned them yet, so I won't be doing that just yet. How to use your crystals. Programming your crystals. Crystals hold innate healing properties, but they can be enhanced through quick moments of meditation and intention setting. To program your crystal, hold it near your heart or third eye and dedicate a few moments of your day to meditation and breath work. We do a lot of breath work in this channel. Visualize you and your crystal merging energies. Either silent or verbally, speak to your crystal, asking for guidance. Lastly, be sure to thank your stone upon completion of meditation. Okay, I will meditate. I do believe that the energies merge uh, because they're organic. Um, asking for guidance, I have prayer for that, so that one I'll skip. But I will do the rest because it is an organic material. Activating your crystals. Does your stone feel a little heavier than usual? Has it lost its vibrancy? Try an energy activation. You can speak to your crystal, sing to your crystal, or st send strength through your breath. You can even bring your crystal with you outside during your daily errands or on a walk in nature. Remember that interacting with your crystal and allowing it to spend time in nature helps it best to thrive. This is things I had no idea of. Oh, and the box does come with a certificate of authenticity. Authenticity, authenticity, authenticity. This certificate of authenticity is brought to you by Gazer. We verify that these crystals are 100% authentic. Each crystal has been carefully and professionally vetted and confirmed. With this certificate, we hereby affirm that we only issue authentic rocks and crystals. Luxury and ethical sourcing. Here at Gazer, we are unwaveringly committed to providing luxury crystals that are sourced naturally and ethically. All of our crystals are high quality and totally authentic. We understand that you care for your crystals and care where they come from. By guaranteeing that the sourcing of these crystals did not harm the environment or any local community, we ensure that your crystals are of pure, loving energy. Remember to care properly for your crystals and keep them safe. May they continually brighten your space, bring joy and healing into your life for years to come. That's awesome. Like, I really, really like that. And they give you a card and they want to know what you think. So I think this is a great gift for anyone who's, who's interested in the zodiac or crystals. So the first one, happens to be my favorite one, clear quartz. For the Gemini, prone to fluidity, but lacking some groundness, clear quartz helps to renew the mind and increase focus and clarity. Look at that one. It's absolutely stunning. Look at any of the facets. I hope the light is picking it up. I think they are. And it's so translucent. It just feels so, so pretty. Very smooth right here. 
I, do, I just love this one. I love it. Oh, the next one is Red Jasper. Energetic and inspiring, Red Jasper helps to invigorate the Gemini. This stone allows the Gemini to feel a connection to the world and to go forth with increased strength, stamina, and creativity. Oh, it's so pretty, the color. I know it's not picking it up. It looks almost like a piece of brick right now, but there are lights in it. And the striations are just so pretty. Next one is Tiger Eye. Tiger Eye helps to promote balance, allowing the dual nature Gemini to center themselves. By helping them become more grounded, this stone imbues the Gemini with greater determination and follow through. I could use that. Oh, I love this. It's so pretty. My oldest brother had a Tiger Eye when I, ring when I was a kid, and I just thought it was the nicest thing just so different and pretty like this is just beautiful i wish you guys could feel it you know they're not heavy but it's not lightweight like these are substantial can you see it i really think it's beautiful the next one is moss agate agate Moss agate has a neutralizing grounding effect for the hyperactive Gemini. The airy Gemini can use this stone connect, to connect with their earthly self. Okay, it's very pretty. It has a lot of um, color inside the stone. I don't know if you can really see it. pretty and it's an interesting see all of these are interesting shape but fit very nicely in the palm of my hand and I have very small hands so I really I like that part of it sodalite sodalite calming and calming sodalite can be used for Gemini's to enhance their communication this gorgeous blue stone promotes confidence and acceptance Oh, this is beautiful. It is blue, definitely, but I do see some purple too. Um, I went to an all girls school and we had to wear uniforms and they were navy and white and it was a kilt. And I swore I'd never wear blue again. Navy blue is my favorite color. <laughs> and I have a lot of blue. <laughs> Oh, I'm wearing blue today. Okay, there you go. See? But yeah, this one's so pretty. It's so many facets of color to it. And very, some are very polished. Corners. I saw one. I just want to see if I can, yeah, right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Right here. It, it's very uh, purpley blue. And then the last stone is a topaz. Let's read what it says, shall we? Bringing abundance and healing into the Gemini's life, topaz is a stone of fortune. This will help the Gemini attract joy and positivity. Oh, it's a beautiful. It's not what I expected for topaz. I think I expected more orangey. This is gorgeous. Really? I may have to rethink my first one. You know what this... It reminds me of a piece of maple fudge. <laughs> Can you tell I have a sweet tooth? So, those are my stones. If you'd like to know more about crystals and zodiac and um, mystical i really highly recommend that you go to ray moon 
ASMR. She has a lot, and like I said, I learned a lot, enough that I wanted to order a set for myself. And I'm really pleased with these. And, um, oh, in case you're wondering, and I'm not sponsored by anyone for anything, I did get these from Amazon, and I believe they were $24. So, it was a gift for myself. Plus, I knew the box would be cool. So, I want to thank everyone for tuning in today. Um, you all helped make this birthday so special. Um, because this is the first one since I got sick, I was afraid that it would be kind of blue. But it's not. My family got up this morning. They gave me presents. Um, my husband went out and got me a muffin and a drink that I like from McDonald's. Um, I love the cranberry orange muffins at McDonald's. And came back and gave it to me before work, which was so sweet. Um, my daughter was like, leave the dishwasher. Don't do any work today. Um, but I did. Um, we'll go out for dinner as a family on the weekend but I decided to make a meal I wanted to try it and because it's my birthday we have to <laughs> so I made a BLT pasta salad with avocado ranch dressing and I got the recipe from Laura Vitali on Laura in the kitchen on YouTube I made it a little different. I didn't use the arugula. I put the lettuce under and put the pasta on top and I added some peppers to it. Um, but that dressing, oy, it's just um, Greek yogurt and it, we use lactose-free, sugar-free Greek yogurt, 0%. And it was supposed to be two avocados, but mine were like teeny tiny. So I used three avocados, a packet of the Hidden Valley Ranch um, dressings, which are gluten-free, and a whole garlic clove. My garlic clove was massive, but we like things garlicky, so that didn't, you know, really play into it too much. Also was, I used the zest and juice of one lemon and a little bit of olive oil. Not as much as she uses, I just use a couple tablespoons. And we, I zhuzhed it up in the blender. It turns the prettiest green. I mix the salad together. The dressing tastes amazing. There was enough left over I put in a jar. I just get these little jars from the dollar store and keep them for salad dressings. And they're, it's a great hack, keep them on hand, the little ones. You just throw your dressing ingredients, shake it up, your dressings are done. Um, and now we have a dip as well. And then I decided um, to make my own cake. So I made a, it's called an Elvis Presley cake. If any of you have heard of it, just leave a message. Let me know. It was just a white cake mix. Um, it, well, I have to buy gluten-free, so I actually get that one. I like the XO brand. Uh, I get that from Amazon. And to that, I added um, vanilla, vanilla, um, I bought vanilla, they're not pea pods, beans, and I took out the seeds. Um, I follow the directions the same, except I add one extra egg yolk to make it a little richer. Plus my eggs were a little on the small side. Um, yeah, you just make it up as you would any cake. Then when it comes out, you poke it. You've already taken uh, just one cup of crushed pineapple and half a cup of sugar, boiled it until the sugar's all combined with the pineapple. And you pour it over so that it sinks through. The dressing, the dressing, the frosting is just a cream cheese frosting, but it's cream cheese, butter, vanilla, um, a little bit of milk and powdered sugar and then pecan pieces, and you frost the cake with that. I recommend frosting the cake when it's a little bit warm because the dressing is a little on the thick side, so you don't want to tear your cake. Um, and yeah, that was it. That's 
that's our dinner tonight. I'm quite looking forward to it. But thank you guys so much for joining me and for watching my crystal unboxing. And I will have new videos for you tomorrow. So in the meantime, remember, I love you. Oh, before I say that, I have always told you guys to tell people on their birthday that you were glad they were born. And so for the very first time, I'm telling myself that I'm glad I was born. And I really, really encourage you guys to say that to yourselves. Look in the mirror and say it. Even if it feels weird, just for me, call it a birthday present for Auntie Angel. Look in the mirror and tell yourself that you were glad you were born because I'm glad you were born. So I love you, I value you, I honor you, and I'm so very, very glad that you were born.